Welcome to the first AFC event, Boxing Edition, and it's a friendly, non-official, light contact tournament where hobbyists and amateurs can test their skills and gain new experiences. Let's get ready to rumble! Alright, now we have Damien versus Alex. Damien again, in black and red, Alex in black and blue. Yes, Alex is once again moving around, trying to work with the distance and the long jab, the in and out. See, when you have someone that switches stance like that so often, it's a little bit hard to go on the inside. Good, good touch there by Alex. The longer arms do give you an advantage for this kind of strategy. But uh, Damien does have good head movement as well. He does dodge punches and tries to go in for the counter. The big problem with Alex here is keeping his rear hand really low, which leaves him open for counter punches. See, Damien moves trying to go inside while Alex moves around trying to keep him at a distance, avoiding him. But he's, Alex is moving around trying not to be at the same place at the same time. There we go. There's where Al uh, Damien has to keep pressuring. Again with the uh, in and out. There we go. Damien did manage to slip in a punch to the body there. Again, a good jab to the head. There we go, that's where Damien needs to work. Pressuring and going on, slipping into the inside. Alex P keeps going with his strategy though, it's been working for him. Just using the long lead hand, moving in and out. There, that pressure. Damien should not stop with the pressure. Okay, that's the first time I see them. I see Alex going in for the exchange in short range. Yeah, a lot of punches don't get to contact because they both move around a lot. That's the spot where Damien should work in. Get him into the corner or against the ropes and just throw combinations. Of course, when your opponent is not going to let you do that, he'll move around. Good, good touch to the face there. It's hard to know on that first round. It was very even in my eyes. Let's go for round two and see what happens. Damien does have more of a proper boxing stance. He's he's got his hands higher. While well, Alex just tries to use his Jeet Kwon Do type leading hand method. See in Jeet Kwon Do they focus a lot on using the lead hand. or the re lead leg if they're kicking, so I can see that being an influence here. There we go, they're against the ropes. That's, that's where you gotta work when you have someone like that who's throwing the long range punches. And we're back to the same strategy. They've both landed a few punches. Again, this is very even. It's it's hard for me to get to any conclusions right now. Damien does slip in some counter punches every now and then. That lead hand. I think that lead, the lead jab, has scored Alex a bunch of points as he goes high and low. 
he also keeps his body low to avoid getting his face on the way of counters like he makes his face a difficult target by keeping his body low but there when when Damien pressures he has a hard time getting out of there goes up into the body and because his head is so far away from his opponent it's hard for Damien to give him a counter was a good moment for Damien where he got him against the ropes there. That's, that was a good hook. So a final round. When there's a tie they go for a third round to break the, the equality. It's a decisive round. It doesn't seem like it, but uh, you do get tired in two minutes of throwing punches. There we go, there we go. Damien is trying to go more for the offensive. But Alex keeps with what's been working for him. The long, the long reach game, the long jab, up and down. He doesn't have a traditional boxers form his arms are low his guard is low but he's doing the in and out game a lot of punches do slip to the sides as either of them dodge and weave bob and weave I didn't see too many clear shots here again I don't know who, who will take this one but because of the reach Alex does get a lot of punches in there. He might get this this match. Alex. Woo! Good job. Yes, Alex got it. <laughs>